He was a rising star in Jamaica's reggae music industry from the late 1970s to the early 1980s. A talented singer with a soft crooning voice that was to make it big in music. But as his career was taking off to higher heights, suddenly, mysteriously, he died. What really happened to the recording artist Laxley Castell? Over 40 years since that sad Wednesday when he drew his last breath, the cause of his death remained buried in questions. Did he die naturally or was he meticulously eliminated in such a way that left no trace? In this video, I look at the death registration form of Luxley Castell and explore his life and career. I am Nigel D. Salmon. Welcome to Jamaican Chapter. This is the death registration form for Luxley Castell. I will begin examining the form by starting with the top of the form. Here on the top of the form it says Death Registration Form Death in the District of University of the West Indies Parish St. Andrew Below that in the first box it says Place of Death and they wrote University Hospital of the West Indies so Luxley Castell died at the University Hospital of the West Indies beside that on the right in the right box it says usual residence of deceased meaning the place he was living prior to his death and they wrote tree Lorraine Avenue Kingston 20 St. Andrew We'll scroll down on the form by looking at the left side of the form. So here on the left side of the form it says Particulars of deceased Date of death 2nd November 1983 so Luxley Castell died on November 2 1983 below that we see full name and they wrote his name Luxley Castell Below that we see condition, and condition of course refers to marital status. And they wrote bachelor. So he was a bachelor at the time of his death. Below that we see age. And they wrote 24. So Luxley Costell was age 24 at the time 
of his death. And speaking about age, let's look briefly at his early life. Luxley Castell was born on Friday, April 10, 1959, in Kingston, Jamaica, to Mother Theresa Castell. With his brothers, he grew up in Waterhouse, Kingston. By the time Luxley Castell reached adulthood, he had become friends with other youths in the Waterhouse community who would become recording artists such as Hugh Mundell and Junior Reed. Yes, he was in the company of people who wanted to do who wanted careers in the music industry. And at the time, Waterhouse was bubbling with a lot of talents. Some of them made it in the music industry and some of them did not. All right, let's continue on. So below age, we see occupation or calling and they wrote entertainer the term entertainer is very broad but as because everyone knows him as a recording artist we we pretty much know that they mean recording artist at age 19 in 1978, Luxley Castell released his first two singles called and the other called Love in Your Heart. He went on to record many more songs including Black Sheep, Government Man, Morning Glory, What a Great Day, Your Love is Sweeter, Tribulation, and more. In 1980, he did an album with the artist Hugh Mundell, his friend. The album is called Ja Fire and was produced by Prince Jammy who we now know as King Jammy. The album is a compilation of eight songs, five by Castell and three by Mundell. Luxley Castell's first solo album was released in 1982, titled Morning Glory. And it's an album with a compilation of nine songs. Then, the next year, 1983, his third album, which would be his last, was released. The third album is called Princess Lady. It is an album with a compilation of ten songs. I say songs, of course, but many persons would say tracks. It was not meant to be his final album, you know. No, Princess Lady was not meant to be his final album. I believe the ambitious Luxley Castell had plans for a long career with more albums. But it so happened that this album was his last. So you can see that his career was moving towards higher heights within the space of th three years. Three albums were produced with his name. Two of them of course being solo albums. 
But then, tragedy struck. Let's continue on the farm. Below occupation and our calling, we see birthplace and they put Saint Andrew. All right, so let's look now over on the right side of the farm. Whenever I read these farms, I move over to the right side of the farm to end my examination of the farm. But here on Luxley Castell's farm, it's blank. This is the first time I have seen a death registration form where the section dealing with cause of death is blank. So as we know, on Wednesday, November 2, 1983, 24 years old Lux de Castell was pronounced dead. He had complained of severe chest pain from his chest towards his neck. He was taken to the hospital. Doctors conducted tests and did what they felt they had to do to ease his discomfort. Test results were inconclusive, meaning the test could not locate the specific cause of his suffering. He was admitted. Listen. There, there, are, there are persons who said that he died possibly of asthma. But if that was the case, why is it that his death registration form did not say that? It is absolutely not professional or typical that the section which should state the cause of death is blank. Remember, if his cause of death was unknown, they would put unknown or natural cause. I look at the bottom of the farm and I do not see anything about an inquiry. If this was a suspicious death, which I think it is, why wasn't an inquiry conducted? But there's no such inquiry. I would love that someone in the medical profession to comment on this video and explain why the cause of death section on this registration form would be left blank. However, after examining this form, it is my belief that it was filled out by someone who just did not care. If you look closely at the farm, you will notice that a lot of things just don't look professional. At the top here, 
where you should see the entry number it's almost as if someone was um, making it difficult to read why was that the entry number should be very clear it cannot be made up there you don't know if it is 5384 or if it is 5834 you can't even make out what's there then below that then below that over on no over on the right side of the form is completely blank and not there was there is no mention of a physician right in this right in that section where it says certified by nothing is there even if he had died on arrival This form was not to be completed until his cause of death is known. So this form looks, in my opinion, suspicious. So I would love for someone in the medical practice to comment on this video and tell me why is it that the section dealing with dealing with cause of death is blank this makes his death even more suspicious anyway Luxley Castell was buried in the Maypen cemetery And after that, because he was not buried with a with a, a headstone, so for the next for, next forty years, his grave was forgotten. Persons don't remember where it was, and as they would say, it was lost. It's sad to know that an artist who did three albums whose voice is played across Jamaica and the world was forgotten. In fact, he is largely forgotten when it comes to the music industry. And his burial place was also forgotten that it is just not fear his brother did an interview and could not say what the cause of his death was or is so what happened to Luxley Castell Sadly, I have to end this video with questions. Hopefully, somebody would reach out to me in the comment section and I can do another video. But here is his death registration form, which I was looking forward to, to see something and it is empty of the cause of death. So again, what happened to Luxley Castell? Thanks for watching and remember to like, comment, subscribe for more interesting videos like this.